The urban air mobility market is a rising market in the United States and around the world where highly efficient transportation aircraft seek to make commute times much shorter and very efficient compared to ground transportation, for example. So rather than having to force everyone to transport on the ground, if we can do short distance transportation in the air, we've taken some of that traffic congestion and spread it upward. NASA is trying to respond to that by providing the safety standards and the performance metrics by which all these aircraft can be judged and qualified for flight so that it's safer for the public and gets better performance. The X-57 Maxwell is NASA's first manned X-plane in over 20 years. This version happens to be the first fully electric X-plane that we've ever done. So what makes the X-57 unique is that for a similarly sized aircraft, the wing is actually 58% smaller than the baseline. What that means is it's very efficient in cruise. That combined with the propulsion integration effects of the tip propellers and the fact that it's a fully electric system have a combined design goal of a 500% improvement in efficiency over the baseline aircraft. So there are a few different ways that we try and test out various models to get an estimate of the performance or the behavior of the aircraft. And one of my favorites is using 3D printers to make prototypes of individual components or assemblies so that we can learn things like how the assembly might go together or how the dynamics of the system might behave. Another thing that we've done is to build wind tunnel models of the nacelles, propellers, and even a full vehicle test. And what we learn from that is to get detailed aerodynamic data on real-world parts. We also run extensive computational fluid dynamic analysis, and what that does is help us reduce some of the uncertainty in the regions of flight where this aircraft may operate. So now that we have the Mod 2 aircraft at Armstrong, we're ready to actually start the operation side of things, where we're going to be integrating, we're going to be flying. And what that means is we've gained enough momentum now to where the ball's rolling and the pace is picked up in such a way that all of the things that we learn are feeding directly into the nascent urban air mobility market. So this isn't pie in the sky dreamers reality of 10 or 20 years in the future. This is a right here, right now technology that's benefiting the taxpayer as we speak.